Hey, how you doing? This is Chuck Englert, Spring Piston Rifle Fever, and Mobile Strength Training. Today, what I'm showing you is a old Daisy Powerline 1000. So I bought this over 20 years ago in Mitchell, South Dakota at a Walmart for 100 bucks. I think it was $99, so it was $100. And it actually was fairly accurate for me. I always shot open sights with it. And I would set up clam shells when I was out fishing. And if I could shoot them a few times at 20 yards, I was satisfied. Um, so this was my second spring piston rifle. My first one was a Diana 34 rifle. And I actually ended up selling the Diana 34 uh, probably about 10 years ago or more at a rummage sale for only like 25 bucks because I didn't understand the importance of tight stock screws and quality pellets and important things like that and I just want to kick myself to this day for that but that's neither here nor there I kept this one because it was fairly accurate and as more and more as I got into these spring piston rifles I decided I would check this out and see what the internals looked like here in this rifle so I took it apart and this is Turkish built. This is made in Turkey. See if we can see that on the camera right up here. So I'm really thinking Hatsan built this a long time ago. So anyhow, I was, <laughs> I had taken it apart, put it back together again. I could not get the thing to cock. Could not figure it out. I went back and forth, back and forth on the trigger. Finally, I looked underneath there and there was a little spring arm that would float back and forth. It looked like a Y. And I finally buried that underneath the trigger. I put a little dowel rod in through the pinhole to hold it. And uh, sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't work. But eventually I tried removing the safety. So there's no safety on the back here, like on other Hatsons. Uh, so I removed the safety off this and finally the thing would function. So I shot it three times um, let me back up a little bit. As I went in and out of this thing, the, the stock started cracking more and more and more. The stock was not what you would call high quality. The stock was cracked more and more. You can guess what happened already as I show you this. So like on the fourth time I went to shoot this thing, I went to cock it and the whole thing, <laughs> just like that, came out just in my hands right here. And you know, I don't really want to spend a whole lot of money on this. I even... I'm going to probably get a different piston seal somehow, some way. So this was like for plumbing for a toilet seal. I cut it to fit and it kind of works, but we're not going to go with that. First of all, I want to see if I can uh, take some plywood. I got some plywood in my basement. I might just use this and see how it goes and part and cut this into pieces and see if I can make it so this rifle will work again. I'm probably gonna make the world's ugliest stock with this setup with this plywood in this rifle. But this used to have a safety mechanism that was right here on the side. And uh, I think it might have even been part of the bear trap mechanism, but it is gone now. It, uh, it's gone and that's the only way this trigger would function. I don't know why, but um, so I had removed the safety and I shot it three times. And after that, the whole thing came flying out of the stock. So this is made in Turkey. I'm guessing it's made by Hatson USA. I just thought that was kind of a funny story. I actually shared that in my post, the community post that YouTube seems to hide a lot of. Um, I, uh, I kind of like doing those community posts. It gives me time to reflect and think more. Sometimes when I'm doing a video, I forget to say certain things. And when I'm doing a community post, I can slow down a lot more and uh, think and write and go back and check things. Because sometimes when I'm making videos, I'll say some really dumb things. I'm like, well, that didn't make any sense at all. I must sound like a real moron. Well, I'll upload it anyhow. <laughs> So here is the, it's got fiber optic sights, the 
the Daisy Powerline 1000 that was not made by Daisy. It was probably made by Hatson. And the sight back here from having it sit in my truck, because it's just sat in my truck when I go fishing. So the adjustment for the windage here broke off. I don't know if I can put something on that to make that work better again. But all I was before was an open sight man. That's all I did. I thought if you used a scope, you were cheating. But when I got my uh, Gamo Hornet Maxim, that the only way you could shoot it accurately was, was with a scope because there was no open sights. And that's kind of how I got into scopes. And uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm fully addicted to shooting these spring piston rifles. They're a lot of fun. And now I'm going to see if I can make some sort of zombie apocalypse monster spring piston rifle with this. If you like the video, give me a like. God bless everyone of you. Give me a subscribe. I'd appreciate that too.